Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, we're going to compare the range of MLID's Reach RS3, LoRa, and UHF radios. I've set up two bases and two rovers, one set communicating at 902 MHz using the internal radio of the RS2+. Plus. The other set has our long-range external radio outputting over 450 MHz at its lowest power setting of 5 watts, compared to the 0.1 watts of the LoRa radio. These radios' performance will be highly dependent on environment. It's good practice to set up your base as high as possible and in line of sight if possible. Radio waves in these bands are affected by reflection, refraction, diffraction, absorption, polarization, and scattering. Likely in this challenging of an environment, we are dealing with most, if not all, of these factors. The terrain we're testing in has some minor hills and valleys, but its most apparent obstacle are the woods that will absorb some of our radio waves being output from our bases. Both radios made it to the edge of the woods while maintaining communication with their respective base. For safety reasons, I didn't climb out of and cross the highway on foot, so I drove out to see the extent of our radios as they've been set. Our furthest point we could gather a fixed solution for was collected over the 450 MHz UHF band, and that point nearly doubled the distance of the lower radio's range in this environment. And again, we're running our external radio at the low 5 watt setting, but can boost that power up to 30 watts to attain greater distances. Check back with us soon for further testing of these radios in other environments. This has been Patrick D38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.